For as long as I can remember, I've had a sense of wonder for the ocean. The experiences I had with my family as a child on beaches right across South Australia connected me with the sea. Wonder turned into a search for knowledge about the environment I love so much and led me to become a marine scientist and an advocate for marine conservation. It's clear to me that we need to protect this amazing and irreplaceable part of nature. This is a feeling and a responsibility that I'd love children to understand and embrace. By the time many children become adults, they've lost that sense of wonder about nature as they haven't been given the opportunities to develop their own lasting connection. This means that for many, the ocean is taken for granted. It's often seen as just a resource, not as a provider of life, a place of deep cultural connection, a place where up to 80% of what lives in our southern ocean is found nowhere else in the world. There's lots of endemic sea creatures only to South Australia that we really need to protect, that I didn't even know were there, that a lot of people don't know that are there. That's where this project comes in. It's about reconnecting kids with that sense of wonder and empowering them with knowledge. They witness firsthand the deep connection that ancestral people have with the ocean, or sea country. They're immersed in that environment so that they can develop their own unique connection. Only then will they understand how truly amazing and special the ocean is and why it needs protecting. So why is this important? Children are our future scientists, teachers, lawyers, natural resource managers, fishermen and seafood consumers. They will become advocates for the ocean, which means more sustainable seas for the future. Try to get them to stop fishing in the marine areas so they can keep the fish safe. The first part of this project is knowledge sharing. In the classroom, students learn about the diversity and endemism that lies beneath the waves. They learn about the weird, the wonderful and the cool. How everything is interconnected through a food web and how removing pieces of a food web has a flow on trophic cascade effect. They learn about the impacts of threats such as marine debris, how we protect the ocean and how they can themselves make a difference. It has inspired me to actually care for the ocean and tell other people not to fish in specific zones. We've worked through that concept of marine parks, developing some knowledge about them and food chains and then uh, being able to go into the natural environment, into the real world again on the field trips and make the connections again to our local beaches. It could end there, but to really connect, there is more. In the second part of the project, Students spent time with Bungala descendants, both in and out of marine parks, to benefit from their deep connection with sea country. The local Bungala Aboriginal community are the ancestral people of the areas we've explored on the Eyre Peninsula during this project. The children are led in cultural activities which connect them to the coastal sites we visited. Living around the coastline uh, is really important and very significant to the Bungala people, um, and it has been for generations to be able to bring um, next generation bungalow out to reconnect to their traditional ancestral lands has been really important. It's a way of us maintaining our connection to country, um, continue our traditions of fishing around the coastline. It's really important to share with the community what that means to us. Um, it's such a beautiful place, the Lower Air Peninsula, and um, to know that we descended from the first people of the area is really something that we cherish. It's allowed the youth to come and reconnect into areas, what it is to be who you are and where you come from, to be proud, um, to embrace your heritage and culture. Students are also involved in marine science bio blitzes within a sanctuary zone where scientific data on animals and plants is collected to assist with the monitoring and management of marine parks. The children come away with not only wonder, but knowledge and a connection with the ocean. These experiences have allowed them to develop their own personal connection, pride and empowerment. Community issues in the classroom are about um, where their world's at. Learning happens and it's connected to their actions and it's connected to the way they think and connected to here and now, but also in the future. Projects like this where we can get in the field, we can work with scientists, makes it much richer learning. The last part of this project is a call to action. 
It's important to understand that individually, we might only be one drop of water, but together, we are an ocean, and that's a powerful force. I think more people need to know about that, more awareness of what you're doing. You're not the only one here. <laughs> Other animals need to survive too.